What is Joy? Um, just want to come on her real quick to encourage somebody. I want to talk today about uh, continuation about the fasting is the key. Fasting is so, so important. I want to tell you this real quickly how God really got me into fasting. In 2008, when uh, me and my ex-husband, we, we had a brand new home that God gave us supernaturally built from the ground. A brand new home. God gave us that home. And we lost it. We lost four rental properties, our brand new home, um, rental, I mean, our, our cars, they got repossessed. We just lost so much. But before we lost those things, God kept telling me to fast. But I was too weak to fast. My flesh was so strong. Now, I, I, I went to church. I loved God. I was saved, had been saved since, I've been saved since January of 1998. So, loving God and worshiping Him and, and having a heart to serve Him was never an issue with me. Because I love Him so much. But fasting was an issue. I was too weak. So, God told me that the flesh is willing to... The, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And my flesh was extremely weak. So because of that, and that was the spiritual war, war tactic to win against the, the, the battles that I was in with the enemy. His thing, what does he do? He come to steal, kill, and destroy. And that's exactly what he did. He stole our stuff. Because I didn't obey God to do the war tactic that God gave me to do in the battle. So we lost it. So I remember we was living in this rental property and, I, and we didn't even have a bed. We didn't have a bed. We gave most of that stuff away. Um, so we, I was going down to the floor because that was my bed <laughs> to watch TV and to get ready to go to sleep. And as I was going down to the floor, I remember the Holy Spirit said, fasting is the key. And from that moment on, my life changed forever. Everything God did was supernatural. It was no, there was no reasoning. It was no understanding. It was no physical signs. I'm talking about everything that God did was supernatural. Even from us getting a house built from the ground and all the rental properties, we did a three day fast together, me and my ex husband, because God told us to. And, and inside of that three day fast, God told me to go back and do a uh, 24 hour fast that he had told me to do a year before. Now, this was all prior to losing our homes that we got through fasting and then stop fasting and then losing everything. But God is good because God is a restorer. That's what he wants to do. He wants to give you back everything the devil stole from you. So. With that being said, Isaiah 58, verse 6, it says, Is this not the fast that I have chosen to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke? God wants to set you free. Fasting is the key to do that. Everything I've gotten in my life up to today has been because of fasting. Fasting humbles you. It humbles you. It puts you in position to receive from God. He wants to bless you, but you have to humble yourself. And also fasting, it rids the enemy of, of all his debauchery. It gets him out of your face. You got to surrender to God. If you want God to do miracles in your life, you have to fast. I lost a hundred pounds. I lost seven. I lost a hundred pounds altogether. But I lost 70 pounds in three months through fasting. I did a Daniel fast because that's what he told me to do. Then I lost the other three. 30 pounds through fasting, keeping it off through obeying God by fasting. And I'm going to put a video up about fasting is the key for weight loss. So I'm just going to really stick on this fasting is the key thing because it is the key. If you have some old habits that you need broken off of you, those cycles broken, you need to fast. If you got this lust in your heart for a man that you know God or a woman that you know God says is not yours, you got to fast. If you want to hear clarity from God, direction and guidance, you got to fast. If you want God to change your life, you need to fast. If you want God to protect and bless your children, you need to fast. When God tells you to fast, it's because something the enemy is planning to try to destroy you. And you need to get in your spiritual warfare so that you can win this battle. See, this is a quick video, so I'm not going into so many details. So don't take what I'm saying 
you know, people take things and run with it and try to add something to it or take away or insert words or because I didn't say certain things they want to add. I, I, that ain't even why I'm, why, the reason why I'm here. I want you to get your breakthrough. I want you to live your life on purpose. That's why I'm here. So fasting is the key. I love you so much. This is Joy and I'll be back with more fasting videos because we need fasting to get out of this. We need passion. We need purpose. We need to surrender to God. We need to fall in love with Jesus. And how do you do that? Through fasting and prayer. The closer you get to God, the less you don't have to worry about all this stuff that you've been stressing about. The, the more you surrender to God, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all those things will be added unto you. What, what are all those things? The things that you're designed, the things that you need, the promises of God. But you got to fast and you got to pray. I love you so much. God bless. This is Joy. Have a beautiful, blessed day. I love you. God bless. Bye-bye.